activities back now. How is the Delta COVID variant impacting our return to normal? Well, to help answer that question, we have team coverage for you, starting with Michael Locklear, who is live at Rice Eccles Stadium to see how they're getting ready for tomorrow's big game. Michael. The game here is a sellout. There's excitement and a strong urging to wear a face mask, but the crowd probably won't notice any COVID precautions. Weber State University getting ready for tomorrow's first game at the University of Utah. I hope we are as much back to 2019 as as we can be. We've been preparing really hard and I don't think the emotions could be any higher. We're excited to go out there and give them everything we got. Defensive tackle Jared Sheese says his team is doing the best they can to manage COVID, knowing cases are rising statewide. We kind of thought that it was getting under control and getting figured out and then boom, it kind of came back again. Moving up into loge seats. Which At the U, four. the Ken Garf Red Zone debuts tomorrow adding 5,000 seats. It's a celebration. It's a return to athletics events uh, with, with a full stadium and it's an exciting atmosphere. Utah football continues its sellout streak. More than 51,000 fans, the largest crowd yet. With bringing so many fans together, given the COVID concerns, how are you working to keep fans safe? Right, mindful of that in, in accordance with state law, we cannot put in a mask mandate or a vaccine requirement. So really being mindful of encouraging fans to think about their own health and safety and the health and safety of others. And that starts with strongly encouraging mask wearing. It's been a few weeks now that I got my second shot. Both universities say most players are vaccinated. Those who aren't get tested daily. I don't believe once the ball's kicked off the whole COVID thing. I mean, that just, I don't want to say it goes out the window, but the reality is that's not what they're thinking about. New this season, the U is going digital with parking and tickets. So make sure you figure that out on your phone before you head out. Also, concessions are going cashless. Besides being upgrades, all of that means less stuff to touch. Live at the U, Michael Locklear, 2 News.